In this problem, we're concentrating on solving right triangles. And the idea is if you have some information about a right triangle, one of the sides or another one of the angles besides the 90 degree angle, you could derive information about the other sides of the triangle. So here's four problems from our textbook. Let's concentrate on number 49. What if we knew that y was 10 and we have angles of 31 degrees and 43 degrees? Could we find out what x and h are? The important thing to realize here is that we have two right triangles. So let's draw these two right triangles. The red one is the larger right triangle, and then a smaller right triangle with a black hypotenuse right here. Let's draw them down here separately so we can concentrate on them. In the smaller right triangle, we have X leg and H leg, and we have angle 43 and of course 90. That's this drawing. In the larger right triangle, the red one, we have X plus Y, and we were told Y was 10, so X plus 10 for the long leg, and H for the short leg. 31 degree angle here. So in these two triangles, we can write equation like X and H. How do they relate? H over X is opposite over, uh, opposite over adjacent. And so the tangent of 43 degrees, the opposite side H over the adjacent side X, and that says X or H is X times tan 43. I can do the same with this triangle, opposite side H, adjacent side X plus 10, so the tangent of 31 degrees is H or X plus 10. That lets me solve for H in this triangle. Now I'm gonna shift my paper up to continue working, but what I have is two expressions that describe H. It's the same H in either case. So I can make these two equal to each other and solve for the remaining variable X. So X plus 10 times the tangent of 31 degrees is X times the tangent 43 degrees. And it's important to remember that tan 31 degrees and tan 43 degrees are just numbers. So I can treat them as if I was distributing here and collecting the terms with x. x times the tangent of 31 degrees plus 10 times the tangent of 31 degrees. equals x times the tangent of 43 degrees. And then I can gather the pieces that have the x in them on one side of the equation, x tan 43 minus X tan 31. And I can factor out the common factor of X, leaving the two numbers, tangent of 43 degrees minus tangent of 31 degrees. I don't know what those numbers are personally, but I can look them up on a calculator or a table. On this side, I have tan of 31 degrees times 10. Now I know what X is. I divide by this number. X is 10, 10, 31 degrees divided by 10, 43 degrees 
minus tan 31 degrees. Well, let's enter this into our calculator properly with parentheses. A number times a number in the numerator and a number minus a number in the denominator. So I'm going to use parentheses when I enter this in the calculator. I usually write differently than I type into a calculator. But let's find out what x is. Remember, I'm just approximating. So I'll type this in, and I'll show you what I typed in. Say 10 times tangent of 31 degrees, and making sure that you're in degree mode, of course. And now divide by inside parentheses tangent of 43 degrees minus tangent of 31 degrees. I can't show the all, all this on the calculator because the thing that I typed in, this older calculator, wraps off the screen. I can look at this entry slowly from right to left. There's my tan 31 degrees divided by parentheses tan 43 minus tan 31. And the calculator reports that's 18.117. Now let's talk about significant digits here. I have angles to the nearest degree. And so the best thing I can do with my sides is report side lengths to the nearest unit. Two digits here will give me only to the nearest unit. So I'm going to say that this side length x is 18, approximately 18. If you were asked for more accuracy, you could report more accuracy, rounding to wherever you were directed to. But 18 matches the significant digits calculation we would do here. So x is 18. There's no units here, feet, inches, miles. So we'll just stick with the number 18. How do we use that to find out what h is? We found x, now let's find h. But remember, I can find h from either one of these two equations. I think I'll use this equation right here. I think I'll bring it down around the other side and do one more calculation here. h is x tan 43. And remember, it's very important. Don't just put in 18 here and type it into your calculator because 18 was a rounded value. I'm going to use the whole answer the calculator represented, and I'm going to multiply that by tan 43. And that'll give me the best approximation to h. Again, I can only use two significant digits. I have as many digits as someone directs me to use, but I can only use two significant digits here. I'll call this h approximately 17. And I'll make this note that I used the full value of x on my calculator screen.